to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal and guitar show. My name hey. is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and today we're going to check out the Revolta Combinata 17. Yes, XVII. So that's what this is. Uh, if you could like, like and subscribe on the channel, ding the notification bell, and all that sort of stuff, that'd be fantastic. Help yes, us do our thing. But 90% of our viewers are not subscribed, so if you do like what we do, please do subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to check out all the specs. Uh, first up with this, it's the gold top finish, as you can see. Yep. Uh, it's a gold top, but the back and sides are clear, finish, mm. which is really cool. It's kind of, you can see it on the camera it's there. It's a great looking guitar. So I, I, I've been, I don't know if, you know, I'm, I'm uh, an older gentleman. <laughs> mm. uh, and back in the days, back in the days of your, is that the ones in the past? Yonder's in the future, yours in the past. Anyway, back in the olden days, um, in like guitar magazines and stuff, there used to always be Fano guitar um, articles mm. of Dennis Fano. And I remember always really liking the look of that, that sort of a shape that he's had for quite a long time, that sort of shape with the German calf top. Uh, and I always really liked it. And then he had all different versions of it, like with telly looks and like yeah. pickups and Pick all that sort of stuff. And, um, but I always really dug the look of it. And it's just, I always remember those ads. And it was always like in a workshop. Yep, uh, sure. really messy looking workshop with the cool guitar in it. Well, all these old. It does say on the back it is designed by Dennis Fano. Yeah, so uh, Dennis yeah. Fano is the the brain sort of behind Revolta Guitars. Revolta Guitars is kind of the budget version of uh, Revo of uh, um, Nova Guitars, which is now Dennis Fano uh, makes them in Nashville. Okay, let's check out some specs of this. This one has a twelve inch radius, it has a ebony board, a um, maple set neck. It does have its own P90 pickups, which are called Novanta. Novanta? Uh, Novanta. I believe. Yes. Uh, Clusen style tuners. It has the Duesenberg Les Trem 2 and the bridge. And um, its own Plexi Gold pickguard. 24 frets as well, which at first I didn't yes. quite, um, I didn't sort of realize, but 24 frets, the medium jumbo frets as well. The neck profile is quite comfortable. I, call, I think they call it a, a modern C. Modern C, yeah. Modern yeah C. I think that's, that's what, what they call it. Term you refer to. Um, it's chambered the body as well. Did you mention mm, it before? I think so. Um, it's a cool sounding guitar. I, I, I have to say, I've really gotten into P90 guitars. Yeah. That's just something I. Pretty cool. Eh? I, I, I never had P90s guitars, and oh, yeah. lately I've been getting more and more into P90s guitars. It just have a cool sound to it. And I think the chambered body adds to that as well. Check out some clean sounds. Let us. So set up, we're going as usual um, into, I'll do it today just for something oh, different, okay. uh, into the Mostronics M switcher, hi Andrew, uh, into a 1x12 uh, cabinet uh, with a green back in it. That's right. Mike with a Lewitt MTP440, hi Lewitt people. And we also have the <laughs> two notes cab, the Captor X uh, blenderized in it. Yeah. And the reverb you hear uh, is from the Captor X. Um, so we've got the, the real speaker and the two and a virtual mm. speaker with the stereo reverb blender rice together and bonjour Guillaume at two notes. It's very good. Do I remember all that? Except for what amp we're using. Oh yes, true. <laughs> and we're using a, a Chariot Tone OTS Mini Twenty, which is a Fender style Dumble kind of Dumble no, Fender no, kind of vibe. Be good, be good. Thank you, thank you. Which was selected by the <laughs> most tronic amp switcher. He usually does it, so you know. Anyway. So um, let's start on the bridge pickup. Obviously, both P90s, as you can see, with chrome covers. Yes, which looks cool. I like and uh, cool play some clean stuff. And 
do like the Duesenberg tram. Yeah. It it's looks cool. Nice and floaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like a Bigsby without having a massive Bigsby on it. Yes. <clears throat> so there was Bridge. That was Bridge. Um, in Between. Yes, please. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Nick? Nick. lovely yeah uh, um, would you like to have a play sometimes I find sure sometimes I find uh, in a neck P90s can be a little bit too dark but this one isn't too dark maybe that's the chambered nature Could have something to do of with the, the chamber thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. alright let's try it with some gain so uh, we've got 68 deluxe here um, out of shot but I mean by LPD pedals uh, you can watch a demo of that here uh, and it sounds if I play a G chord like this that P90's bark, yeah. which is really cool. I really dig that. I dig. Cool. Um, yeah, I've got the neck pickup with the drive. Sure, yeah. and I'm gonna have some boost oui. because I'm Out I'm just control. crazy like that, and a bit of delay, and a little bit more reverb. Out of control. Because I'm like that. Yeah, it's a cool sounding guitar. It plays nice. The the thing I found the first impression for me when I got it out of the box, it doesn't feel like a twenty five inch, uh, um, scale guitar. I was thinking it about feels that, yeah. shorter. I think it may have something to do with where this top of the body lies on the neck and how far back that is here as well. I yeah. think it feel it, like it felt to me just personally. It felt more like when I play, um, you know, a Jaguar or something like that. Sure. You know, it has that sort of shorter kind of. Compact, yeah, it felt shorter, but I mean, that's not a bad thing, a good thing. It's just it, that was just first impression. Yeah. Um, but I dig it, it's comfortable to play, it looks really cool. I, I gotta say, it's it's a really, really cool looking guitar. I was a little bit skeptical about those block inlays at first. You mean visually, visually, because yeah. they go all the right way to the very edge of the fretboard. It's like the full, the full thing, yeah. Yeah. And in pictures, when I saw it, I kind of went, oh, is that something I like? It's like um, some of these old guitars that have it's sort of that shark tooth thing, but it goes all the way. Sure. And I, yeah, but I, I, I actually, it doesn't. It's not the right thing to say. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> that doesn't sound right Grown but it's it's something that I it, it grew me I think yeah. I quite like it as a look yeah. and I, I think the fact that it's aged as well it sort of blends in with the body mm. it blends in sort of with that the, the look of the timber and um, you've got the what looks like sort of a tusk or graphite um, saddles yes they're not steel they're, like they're not, not steel nylon or something. and it's sort of yeah they, they kind of it fits in with that look so yeah. that's just one thing I thought 
the scale length and the look of that. But other than that, um, killer guitar. Thanks. Uh, let us know your thoughts and comments below. Or if you have one of these. Yeah, yeah. And um, we're going to check out one more of their guitars coming up soon. So please hit subscribe, ding the notif notification bell, and give us a thumbs up on the video. That would help us do a thing very, very much. And big thank you to the awesome people at Eastwood slash Revolta Guitars Australia for sending these out to us uh, to have for a little while. Uh, we've done a bunch of videos with them, so I'm sure if you watch our channel, you've seen these guitars uh, on the channel before. So yeah. Thanks for hanging. See you soon. Bye. Enjoy.